Hi everyone, Deceiver here at CRT Reverie, and in the last episode, we just started Gelato Beach, so today I'm hoping to finish the entire level out, so let's just get into it. Uh, we've done episode one, so we're going to start with episode two, and that one's titled, Mirror Madness, Tilt, Slam, and Bam. So it's seeming like we're going to be doing something involving mirrors, and maybe tilting, slamming, and bamming them? Yes? Yeah, I think it's safe to say. Ooh, look at that guy. That looks like a Wiggler, but typically they're orange. Hmm, maybe he's like a sub-variant. Alright, alert, alert! Just look at the top of the tower! Oh, he's big snoozing up there, dude. Taking a big old siesta. Ooh, I love these guys! Okay, so these are called, uh, plungellos. They're essentially just a cataquack, but they've got these, like, sucker suction cups or plungers on the bottom of their feet. Um, I also just noticed they've got a little, uh, like, Pianta branch uh, leaf coming out of their head, so maybe there's a connection there. Conspiracy? Uh, maybe. Some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Oh, okay, the sandbird. Um, that'll be, that'll be a topic of discussion later, but before we get into all that and start the level, I'm gonna just do a quick, uh, like, tour, talk to everybody, just show off the level a little bit, because this level's, uh, really unique in that it's one of the only levels that's not covered in goop. Like, there there will be no goop in this level for us to clean up. Um, it's a goopless level. Uh, but while I'm uh, going on this tour, why don't you kick back, relax, go grab a tall, uh, icy cold boy, and uh, and by cold boy, I mean water. Get, get your water in you, everybody. Hydrate. Hydration is key. That's what we say at CRT Reverie. Hey, look at that. I'm rhyming. Uh, but yeah, so you got this little island over here with a big old swing. Um, it, we'll use this to obviously get that blue coin so you'd like spray flood and just swing back and forth. But we're not getting the blue coin. You guys know that. We're not doing that. That'll wait till later. Ooh, hey, another enemy. Um, so yeah, that guy is called Bubba. So I don't know if Bubba's were in Super Mario World or not, but they were definitely in Super Mario 64. So what you can probably already guess what he's trying to do. So these fish will latch onto you, grab you, and drag you down to the bottom. Um, not, they're not going to cause any damage, um, not in this game at least, but uh, it will drag you down low. So if you're, if you're in a level that's got a deep, uh, deep kind of water levels, um, or you know, a, you're dragging you down to the depths, it, it might be uh, hard to get back up before you drown. So yeah, this is a Gelato Beach, obviously, uh, totally populated by the Cataquacks. And remember, blue's good, they'll just fling you up in the air. Red, that'll hurt you, and fling you up in the air. So, alright, let's talk to these Nokis. What do they got going on? Hello, miss. We need to get those mirrors back into position now. Well, after I'm done talking to everybody. I'm so worried about the egg. Ah! So they're worried about the egg. Hmm. It must be culturally significant, so... I'll definitely get to it, but we're talking to everyone first. If we don't do something quick, the sandbird won't hatch! Those things up in the mirrors. I wonder if you could check them off by rocking the mirrors. Well, maybe that's the tilt, slam, and bam that we were uh, informed about. I'll have you know that if you use the dune buds wisely, you can reach the heights. You can reach heights you never would normally. You know, like the tops of huts and places like that. Well, we gotta try it. Wee, dude. Oh, the sand buds. They're fun. They're fun to mess with. Uh, actually, I don't think we'll get... Oh, yes. Actually, in the next level, I think we'll get to act uh, use those quite... Uh, quite thoroughly. Um, we're not dealing with you yet, Cataquack. You stay over there. Or Plungello. Not dealing with the Cataquacks either. We're exploring. How's everybody doing? Uh, having a good uh, week so far? Um, let me know in the comment section. I, I, I want you guys to know, I do care about all of you. I care about every viewer, everybody that comes and watches my videos. Um, so just feel free to reach out and talk to me on social media, anything. Like, I'm, I'll have a chat. I do not mind. Um, I, I've got threads and a TikTok, uh, Instagram, all that. I think I put it in my links. But you check that out later. Uh, okay, here's what we need to do to save the egg. We need to get that big green caterpillar thing off the tower. To do that, we need to move the mirrors back into position. So we need to get rid of those plungellos that are up there. Then the heat from the mirrors will make the caterpillar move. 
Woo, what a plan. All right, buddy. Up. Oh. Yes, thank you. Thank you, buddy. That, uh, that, that's, you explain what I got what I have to do. Are you gonna help out? This guy is all talk. He never tries to do anything himself. Yeah, I met a few people like that. All talk. But we're gonna, we're not gonna be all talk. Mario's not all talk. We're gonna get this done. Get rid of that guy up there. If you look closely, you'll see two kinds of palm trees. You can climb to the top of the ones without spiky leaves. Huh. Well, what do you know? Look at that. Spiky leaves. I think these were in, um, Bianca Hills. I think I might have tried climbing up it and I couldn't. Uh, that makes sense. Spiky leaves. Can't climb past that. How about squirting those mirror walkers? Think that'll do it? Maybe, I don't know. You can give it a shot. But let's keep exploring. Uh, so you guys might have noticed that I had two blue coins. Now, I'll, I'll explain it. And I've only got four lives instead of I think I had ten... Um, in the other level, but, um, so let me, let me do this guy's voice first. I've been observing the egg for years, but this is a first. I hope the sacred egg can escape this danger unscathed. Um, so yeah, I've already played through this level. Um, uh, I recorded it last night, and apparently I had not realized my audio, my voiceover audio did not take at all. Game audio did. Uh, so thus I'm having to re-record everything. But hey, that's fine. We, we, we'll deal with it. Uh, I love this game, so I'll play it a million times. I don't care. Um, so yeah, that guy, that's interesting. He's talking about the legendary sandbird, um, the sandbird egg, sandbird egg. So he must be like an archaeologist type, uh, Pianta, which, that's kind of cool. He's like the, the local expert, um, of the, the, the local legend, so to speak. Um, hey, look at this! Yo, we got stairs! That's cool. That's a cool gameplay. I don't know, that's a cool gameplay element. I like that. I don't know, it, though, it almost kind of feels like they did that just to, like, oh, here's something to do with Flood, or... Because we've already got the Dune Buds in this level, so I don't know, that's interesting. Because I feel like I could have easily just wall jumped up that. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think of that one? Was that a... Oh, throw this in, because we need more stuff to do with Flood, or there's like, oh, no, that's kind of neat. They're just kind of adding a little bit of flavor, like, maybe, maybe for people, like, just first playing it, um, that might not be as good as, like, you know, seasoned veterans is, like, wall jumping or something, so, for kids or new players alike. Uh, but no, what I, what I was getting at with the Sandbird thing was, like, how how many of you live in a place where you've got, like, a local legend or something that's, like, Culturally, culturally significant and like you've just got that one guy or one girl or one person who's just like the expert on it like that everyone's like oh hey go to go to so-and-so they'll they'll let you know about all of that they'll 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 fill you in i don't think i have anything like that in my hometown um or even where i live currently um so i don't know that's this is kind of cool like that's it feels like one of those things that i'd like to be a part of or be in a place that has something like that one day Look at this view. Like, I don't... I, I don't know what it is about the aesthetic of this game. And a lot of, like, early GameCube games. Or just GameCube games in general. Like, there's something about them that just... May, maybe it's just my nostalgia. My nostalgia nerves tickling. But, I don't know. This is pretty. Really pretty. Ooh, amusement park over there. Um, so that'll come, this will come into play later, this little area, but let's go over here. I want to try something, uh, maybe a little goofy. And then we'll get into the level, because this is already, this is already going to be a long video, I know, but I'm trying, um, to do the long videos again. The shorter video, I, I, I didn't seem to do, at, like, breaking Rico Harbor up into two parts wasn't as, like, well received, I don't think. Um, so... I'm gonna try, we'll just do it all at once. Um, and hey, if you wanna watch an hour long video, be my guest. Uh, I'll try to keep it in an hour. The, 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 the first one was an hour, so, but I'm, do, I'm doing a little more, so, but there are a couple things I'm gonna try to do a little quicker. Um, obviously, we don't want that blue coin, but I wanna show something off real quick. Boop. If you jump from a high enough distance, Mario will get himself stuck in the sand. Um, so yeah, this is a funny little thing. A uh, little quirk. I like it. 
All right, what do you guys say? Uh, we take out some plungellos. Take out some plungellos. Blah. I am I am all tongue tied today. I don't know what it is, uh, but let's start off with this lonely guy over here. All right. So what you want to do is like the one Pianta said. We're gonna squirt him, squirt him, squirt him, and then like Flood says, shift the balance, tilt, bam, and slam. And that's it. Pretty simple. Um, I feel like all y'all can do it. Uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I mean, listen, I'm gonna be real. I'm not. You guys have probably can tell I'm not. I'm not an elite, elite player, uh, so to speak. But I guess I I played this game for a long time. But I, I don't know all the, like the tips and tricks or optimal strategies or things like that. So um, I'm not, I would like to one day. That'd be kind of fun. Like I don't know. I, speed runnings intimidate me. Or, or things like that, like advanced tech in games. I don't know why. I guess I just am like, I have my enjoyment of the game, like in my mind or in my, you know, like, I don't know, like I, I, in my head, I can picture the game. I have, a, I have a cemented image of the game and I feel like if I speed run it or try something like that, it's gonna distort it. I don't know, maybe I'm just, I'm wrong in that thinking, but that's, that, that's to explain my hesitance. All right, that's two down. Uh, one more to go. Yes, thank you, Flood. Flood, Flood's keeping us informed. They, you guys don't even need me. You just rely on Flood. So we got two at once there. You think we can do three? I think we can do three. Let's go for it. I wasn't able to do it last time, so I'm gonna try to do it this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, we're out of... Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's go refuel. Refuel. <laughs> Let's go rewater. Sorry, I was... I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone. I really... I want to really try to get the three at once. Um, I think I can do it. I really think I can do it. So, let's make our way back up here. Love the sound design. It's just that wah, 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 wah. And then there there's screams. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Okay, okay. Fix the camera. Okay, that guy's. Okay. I'm gonna try to wait and make him come back down. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No! Oh my gosh! Oh man, I beefed that one hard. See, told you. Everyone makes mistakes, though. Let's try it again. I, I definitely know that I can do it now. I definitely know I can get all three. I definitely know this is possible. Okay. Can move the camera a little bit. Wrestle with it. We'll try over here. Maybe it'll be a little uh, easier. He's on the edge. On the edge. On the edge. On the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, so yeah, you can do it. You can get all three. I'm, uh, I'm that's sick. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I was able to do it this time. All right, and he's falling to pieces, dude. He fell to pieces. I would too, dude. That's how I wake up in the morning. You just like fall into the, 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 the hundred different pieces. That's what it feels like. I'm like, uh, I just want to stay in bed. Uh, oh, okay. We bonked our head on the flood box. All right. So that will be Shine Sprite number 18, I believe. Yeah, I, I made sure to get the Shine Sprite count uh, the exact same. I had to get this backup save um, uh, up to the right. Right, right number, so the information would be accurate for you guys. So that's shine number eighteen. It's just the 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 blue coin. Just ignore the blue coin. Just I I the next episode it will be back to zero, and I'm still gonna show off where all the blue coins are at. So no worries, barring any future audio goofs or gaffs. Um, so all right, and back into it. Let's do episode three. That will be. Wiggler ahoy, full steam ahead. 
Ooh, it looks like there's some consequences to waking up the old Wiggler. Oh, gosh. Ooh, fun fact. Another one. Um, this is the only level that you start off in a boss fight. The only level. Like, we're, we're in it. This is it. There's no... No introduction, no cutscene, nothing. You're just, we're in the boss fight. So th this is the only level that's like that. So we're going to wait a minute and actually talk to everybody before uh, we actually fight him. Because eh, this fight's this fight's fun, but it's pretty easy. So, kind of. Maybe I'll eat my words. So, I'll protect the dune bud. You'll see. Ah, that's our, uh, he's the guy that is always telling us about the dune buds. Um, oh, wow. Don't step on the dune buds! Alright. Do you think um, the dune buds are key to this level? Huh? Spoiler alert, they are. Uh, <laughs> this is the level that I said we we're gonna be making great use of them. So, I'm going to hatch... Oh, it's going to hatch any day. What's going to hatch, you ask? Why, the egg of the legendary sandbird, of course. I I cannot wait till we play the sandbird level. I. It's one that's constantly talked about as being like... Or hyped up as being super difficult. I I have to disagree. I'll disagree. I'll say that right now in case anyone wants to debate it. But I, I really think the Sandbird level is not as annoying as people make it out to be. Beach access is pretty much shot thanks to that big bug. On the other hand, I've sure got a lot of customers. Oh, yeah. She got she got that, that capitalism spirit. Uh, hey, you know, natural disaster, horrible thing going on. I can make some money out of this. Um, I'm so disappointed that that thing is here today. Seriously, I don't get down here to Gelato Beach all that often, you know. Uh, well, that ain't, well, I'm sorry that your vacation's ruined because of giant caterpillars wreaking havoc on the fair citizens of Gelato Beach. That caterpillar sure woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I mean, we did kind of blast him with a whole bunch of UV uh, radiation, you know, a whole bunch of sunlight right into his noggin. Concentrate. That had to have been hot. Think about that. These giant mirror discs all concentrate, concentrated heat right onto him. Like, I, I kind of get it. N -n -n now, calm down there, m -m Mr. Caterpillar. We can, can, can talk this over nice and slow. Yow! Oh, that's mean mugging over there. <laughs> Eek! We'll be crushed! Watch out! Watch out! Yikes. Oh, gosh. See, this is also, this is, I like this song too. It's a lot of, it feels so, like, just, you get so anxious uh, listening to this song. Wow, don't come over this way. Sorry, bud. Or was he talking to the caterpillar? You're talking to the caterpillar, uh, talking to the caterpillar. I don't know if he's going to listen. He seems pretty uh, enraged at the moment. Uh, due to no fault of our own. But I think you get rid of that bug by stomping on its belly. Not that I have any idea how to flip the brute over. Oh, I've got a couple ideas, purple guy. Don't worry, I got a couple ideas. I wonder if the proprietress and her son are okay. Ooh, he's worried about her. I want—I want to see like a rom-com between this guy and the uh, the owner of that fruit stand. I—I want—I want to see it. I feel like there's some there's some magic there. I think some unspoken love. Uh, how do we get this shine sprite? You might be asking. Don't worry. You'll find out later. Ooh, hey, it's the captain from Rico Harbor. Captain, what's up? Haven't we met somewhere before? So familiar. Anyway, go give that caterpillar what for. <laughs> oh, captain. See, that's cool too. I, I not realize that. Uh, see, every time you play through a game that you play through a thousand times, you'll, you'll find new things. Um, I did not realize that the NPCs from like different levels show up in the other ones. Uh, well, there's one that I know for sure, like that did, I guess I should say. Uh, but they, it's pretty obvious because they're so different. Um, but what was that? You guys see that? Wow! So that's what the Dune Bud does. What we want to do is to make it so the Dune Bud goes up and derails Mr. Caterpillar here, Mr. Wiggler. Just like that. Uh, I guess I should have said that we're going to start fighting the boss. So We're starting the, the boss fight now. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, can I get up here? So yeah, you want to follow the big red arrow and just ground pound right on his uh, belly like Purple Guy told us to do. Uh, he's 
gonna get really ticked. Okay, what's he gonna do? Can we... He's not gonna go that way. Whoa! Maybe he is, maybe he is! Oh, can I get him? Ah, I couldn't get it. Uh, let's see, let's see. So he's gonna go that way. I bet he's gonna come back this way. So he's over there right now. So we're gonna wait, wait it out, wait it out. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's going that way. He's coming this way. Oh, he psyched me out, he psyched me out. Okay, okay. So he'll probably be going over here. So we wanna get him. Did we get him? Oh no! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. He's going over this way. Let's try to get him. And derailed! Did we derail him? Oh my gosh, I'm whiffing all over the place. What the heck? Alright, alright. Let's wait it out. I'll, I'm gonna wait it out over here and let him come back around. Okay, he's coming. And derailed! Got him right in the underbelly. And Krish Splooch. Gotcha. Alright, one more time. One more time. You know, the classic. Uh, three. Three hits and they're done. Mario rule. Rule threes. Okay, he's getting mad. He's getting real mad. Let's see. Is he gonna come over here? I think he will. We'll watch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Let's watch. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, he's not coming over here. Okay, so he doesn't come over here on this round. Let's try to catch him on this one. What do you guys say? I'll catch him on this one. We're gonna cut over there. And he's done! Last time. All right, let's jump on the belly. And boom. And that's it. Mr. Wiggler's done. He's out of here, Mr. Man. He's done. Oh, Mr. Man. Oh, uh, not a single one of you will know what uh, I'm referencing when I say that, but... All right, so that is Shine Sprite. Shout out to those that do. If you know, you know. Uh, but that'll be Shine Sprite number 19. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're making a pretty good time. Uh, I think 20, we're at 20-ish minutes. Okay, yeah. it's not bad. Um, let's do the next episode. That'll be 20. Hey, and after 20, we'll only have 100 Shine Sprites left. And a lot of those are going to be like the blue coin ones or the secret ones. So we'll, we'll be able to get a bunch all at once. So, uh, all right. Let's take a crack at episode four. <gasps> the Sandbird is born. It hatched. Okay, it finally hatched. We'll get to see the Sandbird. Uh, I want to know your guys' opinions. What What are your thoughts on this particular, particular level if you've played it before? If you haven't played before, maybe your opinion is going to be skewed by uh, my experience that you'll you'll, you'll watch. But um, just let me know what 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 are, what are your thoughts on this level? I, I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. Um, a ch bit of a challenge, okay, maybe, but not not terrible. So hey, guess what? The sandbird it finally hatched. Don't bother looking for it though. It flew off right away. Well, I mean, it did what birds do they fly though a sandbird seems kind of counterintuitive like but also really sick like what would you do if a giant bird made of sand just like appeared in the sky i'd just be like well i try to close my eyes and my mouth so sand didn't like get everywhere because that would be awful and then uh oh after that i'd be like that's pretty cool <laughs> that's I was really all you could say uh that big caterpillar is finally gone woo now I can get back to tending my dune buds in peace. So this is our dune bud guy. He's the one that I guess grew all the dune buds? I don't know. I wonder what his secret is. His, his uh, gardening secret. Alright. I think most people are going to be up there where the sandbird was. They're all celebrating. Uh, this guy's a noki, but he can't swim very well at all. Heart. And we're up there. That happens every time. And we're up again. <laughs> One more time! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay! We actually got hurt! Huh! I didn't know you'd get hurt by a cataquag. The blue ones, maybe... I don't know, normally they don't hurt you. It's weird. Skibbity up boom I wonder if you can see it from here. There's a coral reef out there that is quite pretty. 
coral reef, eh? Hmm. Wonder if that'll come back later. Hmm. Hmm. I really want to zoom in on Mario's face, uh, the front facing camera, but I can't. So. All right. What's purple guy got to say? I want to try that throwing thing sometime. Too. Oh no! A chucker! He's a chucker! He's a chuckster! Oh, they hit a, they snuck a chuckster in on me, dude. What the heck? I love that. That's so fun. Just, just random enemies that can just yeet you across the universe, across the entire map. All right, let's see. Hey, this is our. I bet. Oh, he has to be elated. It, it. It hatched! The legendary sandbird is born! It broke the tower and flew away! That was unexpected. Yeah, you would have thought that it would have been like, yeah, chill around and hang out, but maybe, you know, it's it's a creature. It's gonna do what creatures do, what nature does. It's just gonna go off into the distance. The store is closed today for family playtime. When my son slides down, I'm going to throw him back up. But he doesn't seem to be coming down at all. Well, another chucker! But hey, this, uh, this helps. So, are they married? Oh, I guess it's, I guess they're supposed to be married. The fruit stand lady and the, the juice guy, the juice bar guy. Oh, huh. what do you know? This kid keeps talking about jumping into that hole down there. It isn't just unsafe, it's impossible. Huh? You can do it? Wait. Is it her son? Do, you re does, do people re reference their children as this kid? I didn't think. Huh. Maybe not. I don't know. There's a conspiracy here. Someone unravel it for me. Give me, give me the, give me the iceberg video on it. Uh, I want to slide down and dive onto that platform down there. I think I might be able to bounce from there right into that hole. Oh, kid. Let me show you. Let me show you how, how it's done. We'll do it. We'll do it after we talk to these people. Uh, you know, I was a pretty wild child back in my day. Even so, I find myself yelling at the kids to quiet down. Oh, goodness. I hope I never become that. I I, I don't ever want to be the guy that's like, Hey, you kids, shut up. Uh, I don't, I don't want to become that. I want... Now, do I realize... Do I have the self-awareness that maybe when I was a kid, I was really annoying and I should have, like, toned it down a bit? Yes, I have that. Should I try to force that on the kids now? No, but I can point it out. I don't know. Maybe it's not my place. Maybe I'll just shut my app and play my game. Uh, sliding down the patch of odd-colored sand there is tons of fun. But I think sitting here and enjoying the view is nice too. Hey, we enjoyed the view earlier. This is a nice little spot to enjoy the view, ain't it? All right, you guys ready? Let's take on the sandbird. Whoop, false start, and jump, and boop, and we're in. See? Easy as pie. What is with that saying? Is pie actually easy to make? I've never baked a pie. My grandma would bake pies, and it didn't look easy. It looked like it would be a mess. So, uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is a sandbird, guys. Uh, this level kind of puts me in mind of um, the uh, how you get the wing cap in Super Mario 64. Do you guys remember that level? I think there's like a tower... And you uh, you ride or, or you fly around with a wing cap, getting red coins. Um, so it, I, I wonder if that was the inspiration for this level. But it's really cool. Um, like I said, everyone hyped it up as being like super difficult. Um, I'm not one of those people. You just have to watch out for like when he's doing these big flaps, um, and then he'll start to turn just like that. But if you angle yourself right, like I did here. Um, you should be good. Now, I I'm gonna be honest, I had the biggest flub ever, um, in the first time I was recording this, and it was glorious. I, I wish you guys could have seen it, because it, it, it ended up being a clutch save, like, real, really. I don't know how I did it. It was like my, just my instincts took over to save it, like, just reaction time, but, um. Wait a second. I can show you with the power of technology. So yeah, 
yeah, that's basically it. Now we're just gonna enjoy the ride on the Sandbird until we get to the top of this tower and get the last coin. See, not a hard level. Not, not a difficult level. If you do kind of like what I did, you go to the, kind of go to the very tips first uh, before he starts flapping or turning, um, you'll be good. And then just, just try to position yourself on uh, one of his like little ledges when he does that sideways turn so you don't slide off. Just, just be aware of where you're at and you'll be good. So, all right, that's shine number 20, guys. We did it. Um, only 100 left. 20 down, 100 to go. We'll do it. We'll do every one of them. You'll see each and every Shine Sprite if you watch this entire series. Uh, which I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm enjoying it. I'm a, I'm having a great time. There's definitely things I'm gonna. I'm planning to do differently in the future. Um, ooh, what's this? When I do uh, other games, but so there's a big beam of light erupting up from the ground. I'm not gonna go show that off just yet. Um, because that, that's, here, how about this? I'll give you a hint as well, oh shoot, wrong, uh, gotta use the right nozzle, deceiver. Uh, so you see that, here's a hint. All right, that's your hint. If you know, you know, as the catchphrase for this episode is, if you know, you know. All right, let's get into episode, what, five? Yeah, we're on episode five. Um, second Piantissimo's Sands. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Piantissimo. This is a fun character. It's it feels so random, like his inclusion in this game. I I no idea the history behind him. I would love to know why he was included, but I do know this. Under the mask, under his mask, if you saw, he's kind of like dressed up like a Pianta, but it's obviously like a dude. That's actually a Zelda character. I think it's the mask seller from Majora's Mask. I could be wrong. But it's definitely from an N64 or Zelda, either Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. But I I have no idea why the devs would put him in this. But, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of cool. It's kind of fun. It just seems so random. It was like, hey, what do we just, what do we just put this guy in, in the game? And the other guy was like, sounds good to me. All right. Once we work up a sweat, let's jump in the ocean. Well... Yeah, that's a great way to get clean, right? You get all sweaty and hop in the water. Um, I'm gonna talk to people first, as I am known to do. Uh, actually, you know, where did all the blue cataquacks go? And where are all the people at? What the heck? Buddy, buddy, hey. Where's everyone at? What did you do with them? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ah, it's just me. I'm getting out of here. That's what I get for being a goofball. Hey, there's a rocket nozzle up there. We're not going to get it because of the nature of this level because I'm, I'm going to have to be quick. Uh, yeah. you'll, you'll see. I am second Piantissimo, and now we shall race to that flag. You see, it's a race, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to deviate uh, off my path, really, because we gotta, we gotta stop see, second Piantissimo. We gotta, we gotta get to the flag before he does to get that shine sprite. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can try it. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Oh, we're beating, we're beating that record. We are so beating that record. We are beating 35 seconds. It is like nobody's business. We're gonna do bop, 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 and look at that, 20 seconds. And I almost had it sub 20 if I didn't flub up there at the end. Easy squeezy, dude. There's probably even faster ways to do it, but uh, that's the way I like to do it. Dude, second Piantissimo. I'm up here snoozing, you finally got here. Phew, uh, uh, you're pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again. And goodbye. Alright. He's a character. He's definitely a character. Adds a little, like, 
I don't know. Adds a little uh, layer to the to the game. Just, he, he'll, he'll show up a few more times, but uh, it's always fun. Huh? You saying that any path's okay as long as you find the goal? Hey, that's good life advice. That's right. As long as, as long as you find the goal, any path's okay. Any path you take. Being healthy is what matters most. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. See, look, uh, dropping knowledge bombs here, dude. There's a lot of wisdom. A lot of great wisdom here from Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, these competitions seem like a waste of energy, if you ask me. Okay, that's, I don't know. This seems... That guy's a party pooper. I don't like that guy. This guy finishes every race dead last. See, he's projecting, dude. He's out here projecting his insecurities on everyone else. Oh. Hey, uh, archaeologist guy. Sorry, I was distracted by that gold button in the background. Um, I'll, I'll show it off to you guys. This is a good time to do that. Uh, the legendary sandbird is gone. If only it could have stayed with us for a little while. Aw, that's sad. He was really hyped about it too, and then it's just, it's like it's gone. That, that bummed me out. If like, I spent my whole life waiting for this thing to happen. It happens and then it's just over. Like, then what do you do? Gotta find new purpose. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sometimes I just gotta dance. Sorry, girl, don't you apologize, you get it. Get out there, get it. Everybody get up and dance, dance break. Uh, I could have made some money if I'd opened a stand here. She, She's she's a pure business tycoon in the making. She's she's gonna end up owning like uh, Al Delfino, dude. She's got that business mindset, that grind set, if you will. All right. Second Piantissimo has been turning up all over lately. That uh, yeah. Well, not really for us, but maybe later on. He definitely does though. Trust me. This is a kind of festival, isn't it? Yeah, get down. Kind of like a festival. All right, who are these? Who are these people? Doody doot, doodly bop, doody doot, doodly bop. Yeah, that's my favorite. Doot 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 doodly bop. Boy, you sure do have a lot of energy. Admirable. Well, I try. Uh, Mario might. I don't. I'm sleepy all the time. A special juice that will help you beat Second Piantissimo? I'm sorry, we don't know how to make those. Mario wanting to juice, bro? What the heck? No, we don't do that, Mario. We use natural talent. We don't need to use supplements. You know, I'm just really not into sweaty guys. Do, do, do. Who says that I'm into you? Who says that I was coming, like, I was, like, coming on to you? No, I was just saying hi. What the heck? Presumptuous much, huh? Do your best, guys. Do, do, do. I like, uh, I like their outfits, though. They're, like, the hula dancers. It kind of helps, fits in with the island aesthetic. Uh, all right, what do you say? Oh, no, I was going to show off that uh, gold button. Uh, it's just coins, um, so you hit it and it'll like make a trail of coins. Like yeah, then it's on a timer. I'm not gonna go down there and try to get them. You you guys can. I might do it when I do the hundred coin shine sprites. But uh, let's just go ahead and grab this one. Cause we're at 37 minutes, dude. 37 minutes. That's not too bad. That's about as long as the half of Rico was, and we just got shine 21. So. We're we're good, making we're making good progress. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Um, if you guys are willing to stick along for the ride, um, if I decide to break it into two videos, uh, I'll make a cut like right here, and it'll be like, oh hey, bye everyone, the outro, um, and then I'll obviously start here with an intro, and then cut into uh, what we're gonna do. But if it's all one episode, none of that matters, and I'm just wasting more of your time. So let's get into it. Uh, episode six? Six? Yeah, six. Red coins and the coral reef. Yeah, see, told you the coral reef was gonna come back up. Um, I don't know, I, I, coral reefs are just so pretty. Uh, I don't know, this, and that's, seeing this, it just makes me think of that. Like, I, I had these magazines as a kid I'd get in the mail. Um, I can't remember, they weren't like Zoo Pals or, um, shoot, I don't know, I can't remember what they were called. But, um, I'd get these magazines, and one of them I distinctly remember was about coral reefs, and I just, I, just, my eyes were glued to that. Like, I, I just loved it. It was around the time, um, around the time, um, Finding Nemo was coming out, so I was, like, really into fish, um, Probably, I think a lot of kids were. Actually, you know, if you go watch, go watch the Defunct Land video about that. Like, the, he does a video, and in it, he um, describes or, or you know finds out that like Disney executives or whatever were like getting. They knew like Finding Nemo was going to be coming out, 
And so they like pushed like fish facts and like got kids into fish real big so they'd go see the movie. Which is crazy. It's like I, here I am recounting a uh, oh a fond childhood memory and it was just like maybe due in part to like some corporate person be like hey there's a fish movie coming out let's let's get all the kids into fish so they like fish so I don't know that's that's crazy how the how the world works uh, hey mom is the coral reef having a festival that kid's all about festivals he's wanting to party hard I don't think we have any festivals like that mm, you should a coral reef festival that'd be fun. Hey, Ma, can I go play on the coral reef? No, no, it's pretty to look at, but that place is dangerous. Coral, coral is dangerous. Like, apparently it's, like, super sharp, and you can get cut real bad on it. Like, divers and stuff can get cut, have been cut, like, real bad. Um, like, amateur ones and even professional ones. Um, don't tell me you're bored. Just give out water now and again. Oh, yeah. So, you feeling bored? No, we're not bored. <laughs> we're jettisoned into the sky. <laughs> That's one way to keep it fresh. Uh, all right, let's. I'm gonna go up here and unlock the rocket nozzle, or at least show you guys how to unlock the rocket nozzle for this level. So wall jump up to here, flood on back, grab these coins. Don't worry about the graffiti. We'll get it later. And boom, Bob Trunkle. Well, maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't know who your uncle is. Hey, you got an Uncle Bob. I don't. But I sure have a rocket nozzle. I love uh, the rocket nozzle is so much fun. You just blast off. Anytime, any place. Blast off right into the air. I don't trust this guy. I think he's gonna yuck me again. Or chuck me. Let's see what he does. I heard that someone found red coins in the coral reef. But there are fish out there that'll drag you to the seafloor. Hey, okay, he didn't chuck us. And he's talking about Bubba. Um... Yeah, I, you guys, you guys all know all about Bubba now. You know to avoid him. They're not gonna hurt you. Just drag you down to the seafloor, and that's not fun. Ugh, bees! Yuck! No, get me, get me away from the bees. Don't want the bees. Oh, I hate getting stung by bees. It's miserable. I'm not allergic to them or anything. Thank, thank goodness. But um, that still just hurts. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll just buy a small bird. Oh, yeah. Get yourself a pet, buddy. Get yourself a pet. That'll be good for you. Help your mental health out. He's, he's bummed that his sand bird's gone. I don't think anything's up there. Oh, is that the dash nozzle? Oh my goodness, yeah. Well, there we go. Or the turbo nozzle, sorry. Not the dash nozzle. My bad. Didn't know that the turbo nozzle was over in this level. Woo, that'll make getting out of the coral reef a lot easier. Talk to juice sand guy. The coral reef? Yeah, it's that rocky spot out there in the water. Yeah, to the left of the shop, that's it. All right. Oh, we got to talk to our favorite uh, cute couple. I told you what a bad swarm of this guy was, right? <laughs> Man, she's just nagging him hard. Like, what the heck? Okay, I was, tr I was trying to avoid that. I was trying to dive so the Cataquack wouldn't get me, but then I ended up talking to her again. Uh, let's talk to talk to the dude. The coral reef is nice to view from here. And it's safe, too. Hey. Buddy, I appreciate that you want to be safe, but we're going out and get into some danger. Um, let's start with... Let's start over here. We'll grab this one. This is our first one. That's one. I'm going to get eight of these. So, there's one. There's two. There are a couple that are going to be in, like, schools of fish. it would be kind of annoying to get. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to grab them. We got those two. I think there's one over there. Yep, that's three. Yep, three. Oh, okay. It just that coral said, "Hey, no, you're going up." Um, okay, we're on three. Down there is four. Right there for you guys to see. Oh, do you guys? Let's try to get this one. It's here. Let's try to get it. Oh, come on, you goofy thing. Almost. Almost. Yeah, there we go. That's five. Three more. Let's go over here and get six. I see seven and eight. So, yeah. There's six. Over here is seven. 
And then eight is in that school of fish right over there. So let's go grab it. And that'll be it for Shine 22. Yep. There's Shine Sprite 22. See, not hard. Not hard at all. Just follow that. Um, follow that route and should get them right quick. Uh, all right, we're, we're making great progress. I'm I'm really happy with this even though like I said even though circumstances uh, Considering uh, you know the audio Problem the last uh, last recording session uh, Always getting better you gotta you gotta roll with the punches. That's what I've learned to do just gotta roll with it um, and like, I just my whole time, like, I've been making this video, I've just been like, oh, man, I'm try, trying to remember what I say last time. Or, oh, this is not as good as last time. But I'm, I'm going to say right now, I'm just not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to be... And I'm not going to worry about it. Because what happened, happened, and we're moving on. And that's all. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do in life. And things don't really work out the way you planned them. Because nev they never really do. Never really does. So, episode 7. It's Shadow Mario episode. Uh, after him. <laughs> Oh, Shadow Mario is such a fun villain. I, I really like him. I really like him. He's, he's very memorable. It was my first time, like... I know, like, Zelda 2, you had Shadow Link. So, like, Link had his doppelganger. But I think this is the first time that Mario got, like, a, like an actual doppelganger. Um, maybe. Other than Luigi. If you're not counting Luigi, he's, that's not really a doppelganger. An evil doppelganger, maybe, I should say. Um, if, if someone knows of another time that there was an evil Mario or something, I get... Wario? Is that really a doppelganger? Everyone calls him the evil Mario. Hmm. This is an impersonator. I don't know. Hey, if, if you guys know of something, let me know. Uh, hey, you, stop threatening me. What? That wasn't you? Nope, buddy. I am just, just got here. I just phased into reality. Hmm... Uh, I'm gonna talk to people first. Normally I run after him, but I'm just gonna let him do his thing and I'm gonna talk to everyone first. Hey, mister, how'd you split in two? Uh, I didn't, kid. That would be a little gross. Let's split into two. Well, no, actually, we split into two in a future game. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the double cherry in a. Uh, shoot, Super Mario. What? Uh, Land? No, World. Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, the double cherry. Huh. Well, I guess I'll figure it out one day. Uh, um. <laughs> Sure, seeing a lot of you today. Uh, yeah, you see a lot of me every day. I'm here all the time. Please don't step on the dune buds in your big rush, Mr. Man. Hey, Mr. Man! Okay, maybe that was right. That was in my head. Mr. Man! Uh, that's I'm referencing um, Spike and Barley. I don't know if you know them. I, I Gosh, I, I'm even saying that's like feels like I'm aging myself. I've aged a thousand years. They were YouTubers I watched in high school. Um, I... I love their videos. I have no clue about anything to do with them now. So, I'd, But at the time, I I really liked watching their stuff. Um, the Watermelon Festival is almost... The Watermelon Festival is almost here. I can't wait. Watermelon Festival? Mom, when's the Watermelon Festival going to start? Well, I would assume probably in the next uh, episode, since that's the only one left. Um... What would a watermelon festival entail? I'm I'm excited to find out. Let's see what this guy has to say. And I was just having a nice moment too. See, I knew he was gonna chuck us. I knew he was gonna chuck us again. There was another time he was gonna chuck us. Man, he chucked us far. That's crazy. Yeeted. All right, the Noki couple. See, so check in with them. Very soon, the watermelon festival will begin. Watermelons are best when eaten outside on the beach, you know, because then when you get a seed, you can just spit it out. Pfftui! I love that. Should you do that though? I feel like that would make would that make like seagulls or any birds sick. Like, should you spit seeds out? Can you do that? I don't know. When watermelons are the topic, this guy's a whole new person. Yeah, hey, everyone's got their thing, dude. That's why you shouldn't have been ragging on him the whole time. Shoulda, shoulda known to, that he was into watermelons. Uh, that was his thing. Time to get ready for the festival. Yeah, I bet the juice bar is really gonna uh, turn out with the watermelon festival. I feel like it'll be integral. That and the fruit stand. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, does anyone live anywhere where they actually have a real watermelon festival? I uh, there's I know of like pumpkin festivals or strawberry festivals. Uh, never heard of a watermelon festival though. 
Please don't. Oh, okay. We already talked to him. I forgot. My bad. All right. Let's go. We've got the archaeologist guy to talk to, and then we'll take on Shadow Mario. What do you guys say? Sound good? Great. Totally heard your response. Um, this little guy's just too small. I want to buy a bigger bird. What little guy? Oh no. Poor man. He's gone insane. He's seeing things. Oh no. This is the opposite of how I wanted that story to turn out. So he needs a hug, dude. He needs a hug and a bird. Someone buy him a bird and give him a hug. Alright, Shadow Mario. Let's do this. Let's slide down the hill. He's scooting, isn't he? Let's try that shotgun spray. I don't. I still don't know what it's called. I know it's a speedrun ta uh, tactic, but I I don't know. I'm again. I tried to look it up and I could not find anything. I think there are probably other YouTubers out there that maybe will know about it. They'll go into it, but just just. My Google Foo uh, failed me, so. Maybe I should have binged it. <laughs> Chat, maybe ChatGPT knows. Uh, someone go ask ChatGPT for me. Alright. Alright. Oh, we're running low on water. He has to be about done. Oh, I'm like nailing him. What the heck? Hey, there he went down, finally. Dang it! This ain't over! Ah, it kinda looks like it, bud! And... There we go! Shine number 23! We're almost finished! We've got one more um, for Gelato Beach, and we'll call it there. How's that sound? Um, that'll be... Episode 8 is the Watermelon Festival. Yes. So... It, 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 that's another level... Okay. I saw a list one time that said that this level coming up is like the hardest level in all of Mario Sunshine. And I I have a hard no for that. Like that's no, not at all. Like that, this is not the hardest level. If you know, I, I get it's hard from the st stance that like the game doesn't tell you right out. It doesn't say like, oh, this is what you need to do. It kind of just, it plop, you'll see, it just plops you in and you just go. But, one of the reasons why I talk to all the NPCs, you'll see there's going to be an NPC that would that clues us in on what we're supposed to do. Um, but, I'll show you guys right up. I'm not going to talk to anybody, we're just going to go straight to it. And then I'll go back after I'm done and talk to everyone. Um, but, you want to, the goal here is to get the largest watermelon. And take it all the way over there to the juice stand. Yes, and it can't burst, and, and, and you'll see, when I say burst, like, here, I'll show you. Like, these, they're seriously, like, they're like balloons. Like, if, here, if they touch anything, it's over. Especially cataquacks here, I'll, or here, there. Yeah, like, boom, they explode. And cataquacks are really bad, they'll run right into it. it. It grows back, and so you could try again, but we don't want that one. Ours, the one we want, is up here. Oh, hey, look, our little leaf is back. Okay, thanks. Cataquack? I wanted to go up here. I appreciate that. All right. Um, so yes, this is the watermelon you want. This is the one you're gonna want to take this watermelon all the way down to the juice bar. And yep, and I say when I say all the way up to the juice bar, it's like up to the counter. Like we're gonna have to go across the boardwalk and not lose it. So here's what you want to do to ensure you get it here. At least I don't know if this is the best optimal path or what, but this is the path I've always taken, and it's worked out for me. So. Um, Trying to be careful with it. You want to take it along this little strip of pavement or whatever, rock here. There'll be like a drop off, like an indention. And so you're wanting to get it poised to go into that. And then while it's rolling down the hill, rush down and knock out the cataquacks. So, okay, it's rolling. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, please? Please? Okay, so it's going to do its thing. I'm going to come down here and take, on the t take out the cataquacks. So they don't ruin my watermelon. All right, that guy's done. That guy's done. Just him for good measure. All right. So see, you want to do that? 
And then I like to kind of stick to the side here. Um, there is a Cataquack down there, though. Oof. Um, okay, he moved, but I'm going to try to get him real quick. So I'm going to stick it to the side. Okay, he's distracted. So you see how big this water is. This is the big honker. Like, this is the one you want. I'm going to take out these Cataquacks. Just to be careful. Don't want to mess this up. Because that would be... It's, it is annoying. Like, if it pops on you, it is really annoying to have to try to go all the way back up there. And then navigate um, navigate it back. Um, oh, that was dangerously close. That was so... That was too close for comfort. Uh, I'm lucky there that it didn't burst. Okay. So, yeah. You're about in the clear. So, we're just going to... Position the camera right. And... Take it on up the boardwalk. So, yeah, you just take it slow, nice and slow. Don't try to rush it, you know. It, there's no there's n no rush here. We just want to get right up to the counter and into the juicer. And we have our watermelon smoothie. Uh, or maybe maybe this is the juice that uh, that one guy was talking about earlier that'll make us go really fast. You think we'll get to try it? Uh, you think we'll get to try it? I, I, I would try watermelon, but I'm allergic, so I, I probably wouldn't be good for me uh, to do that. So, Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out of the caliper for this one. You win. All right, we'll juice it up. Really grind it down in there. And... Shine Sprite, number eight for this episode, and 24 overall. So yeah, that's how you get the Juice Bar Shine Sprite that I was talking about earlier. So you gotta wait all the way to the end. That drove me insane as a kid. Like when I played it for the first time, I was like, how? How do you, how do you get this out? I like bang my head against the wall. So, okay, we, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everybody now and then we'll grab that Shine Sprite and we'll call it there. How's that sound? Um, but no, yeah, that, uh, it's not hard, right? Like that it wasn't difficult. It's difficult if you, I guess you don't have someone telling you what to do, but you'll see with the, with the NPCs, they talk about it. Um, they, they allude to the fact that you've got to go up there and get that one. So the watermelon festival is now open. Why must I stand here? I'd rather be drinking a smoothie. Well, go drink a smoothie guy. Oh wait, that's right. You're in a video game. You got to do what the game tells you to do. What you're coded to do. Hey, mister, aren't you going to be in the watermelon contest? Yeah, dude, I already won. Where do you want it? We're big watermelon winners, dude. All right. Ignore that. Uh, little Noki guy? What's up? Yay, yay, watermelon festival. Get down, get down, get down. No, I think he means like, yeah, let's get down and dance. That was the, that was the kid that was wanting to uh, festival it up the whole, the whole time we've been playing. I won't be joining in the contest this year. Nope, sorry. I'm happy to just sit and eat watermelon. Okay, thanks for letting us know. Uh, he doesn't want to join in because he hates to lose. Well, if he hates to lose, if he knows that he's going to have a miserable time by joining in and losing, which he would have, I don't blame him. Like, yeah, choose. He, he's self-aware. I don't See, I don't like her. She's, she's ragging on him, and he knows who he is. Let's do justice for my boy brown-shelled Noki, dude. He needs... On Gelato Beach, he needs he needs some he needs some support. The guy next to me forced a coin on me, and then, well, he made me switch watermelons with him. Yeah, that could have gone so differently. I don't I don't like to force a coin. He forced a coin on me. Mine was so much bigger than his. What a meanie! Was it Captain? Bro, Captain, you did that, dude. No. I had I held you in high respects. Now that's all gone. You you lost my respect, Captain. So how about it? Mine's the biggest, right? I mean, right? This thing is in the bag, man. In the bag. You will ha ha. No, dude, you lost. You got what you deserve. You, dude, that guy right next to you is bigger than yours. What the heck? I think I have the biggest watermelon right now. But what I'll do if someone brings a bigger one? Oh no! Uh, yeah, yikes! Uh, yanks on collar. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't know what to tell you, bud. Uh, I guess lose. Alright, watch out for the bees. I want to go talk to our archaeologist buddy. I wonder if he found himself a bird that he could call his own. Ow, ow, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait, where's he at? I guess the cataquacks ran him off. 
Well, that's sad. Where'd he go? Huh. I could have sworn he was up here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe he's, maybe he's over at the juice bar. I bet he's at the juice bar. That's where a lot of, a lot of the NPCs in this level are. Hey, let's talk to you. Just roll your watermelon over this pier to the shop. Do, 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 do. No, I'm not sweaty this time, so she'll talk to me. The watermelon festival is about to end. Hurry, hurry. Good luck. And do, do. We made it just in time, it seems like. Just in time to clutch, clutch and win it. Um, so we already talked to him. Hey, yeah, there's the archaeologist guy. I'm going to talk to him. I'm gonna ch I want to check in on him. Make sure he's not seeing little birds. Uh, the owner of the shop is obsessed with watermelons. Okay. Oh, well, that's how that story ended. <laughs> I wanted to get some juice smoothies for the kids, but now... But what? But now what? But what do you mean? But now you can't? Are they out? Do you want to join the contest? Don't let me hang like that. Blah, 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 blah. People who eat watermelon with salt sprinkled on it are not allowed in the contest. No. Strictly forbidden. Why? I don't know why. That's just a rule we've always had. Yikes! That's... Apparently don't eat uh, salt with watermelon around here. Someone was telling me that that's actually how they've exclusively eaten watermelon their whole life. I, I didn't try it uh, back when I was able to eat it, eat watermelon, so I have no idea. Is that is it good? Is salt on watermelon good? Or is that like a pineapple on pizza type, you know, uh, debate? Um, I've, n I've never heard it. Never heard the opinions circulating uh, salt on watermelon. Have you looked up in the hills yet? See, and there, that's what I'm talking about. That NPC, purple guy, is the one that tells you to go look up in the hills. So, if you talk to all the NPCs, you'll know what to do. So, all right. Well, guys, I've took enough of your time already. Uh, we're at an hour. Um, I was hoping we'd stay sub an hour, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, that Yeah, that does it for Gelato Beach outside of... Uh, you know, specials, shines, 100 coin, uh, blue coins. Um, I'll, I'm going to go back to the other save uh, that we were doing stuff on and uh, just keep this one as a backup. So just in case something happens, we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be able to save the run and not have to start all over because that would, that would sting. But yeah, uh, you guys take care and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you liked it. Um, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, all the fun, YouTube junk. Uh, yeah, so stick around and check out the next one. Stay tuned. Later. Whoa. That guy sucks.